In this video, I'm going to show you how to post items uh, found in a general journal. Um, before we get going, just one quick thing to kind of note uh, on our general journal. This general journal that we're using is for a merchandise business. It accompanies uh, the special journals such as cash receipts, cash payments, sales journal, and purchases journal. So you'll notice in this general journal, there is no special amount columns like we saw earlier this year. Uh, such as sales, cash debit, and cash credit. With that being said though, the process is the same. There's just one little bit difference and we'll see that again in the slash. So what I'll do here is you can see I have my transaction and it really doesn't matter what the transaction is. Um, what it does matter is how you do post it. So again, the process is the same. We take the date of this transaction. In this case, it was the 28th. Uh, we post this to the supplies office account. We get this from G11. Now in the past, we've used 11. In this situation, we wanna use G11 because we are using multiple journals so we do know which specific journal it is. You can see in this transaction, we have a debit of 125. So we're gonna enter that entry there as 125. Now a debit balance is already existing in the supplies office account. And with a debit entry, they are the same. Since they are the same, we are gonna add them together and we are going to find the sum and we find the sum. Our last step in this posting process, as it is in all of them, is we need to take that 1150 account number that we have there and put it back up, kind of our bookmark, in the post reference column in the general journal to signify that we have completed the posting process. We continue this process along as we keep going here to the next line, which is our credit and our accounts payable slash office center. Now in this one, this 125 credit, as you're gonna see here, actually gets paid, gets uh, entered in two different locations. The first location that we're gonna post it into is the accounts payable controlling ledger. So we're gonna post it, the date of the transaction is the 28th, the accounts pay, it came from general journal page 11, so G11. You can see that this is a 125 credit entry. So we're gonna put that in there. We have a credit balance with a credit entry that gives us a, we're gonna, they are the same. We are gonna find the sum. And since we're gonna find the sum, we're gonna add them up and we're gonna enter that number there. Last step in the, po in, the, in the posting process is to put the account number for the accounts payable controlling ledger back up in the post reference column in the general journal. And we are gonna put it on the left hand side of that slash mark. We can see we kind of divided that cell in half. And the reason we are putting in that left hand side of that hash mark is because we, the accounts payable is listed first as the account title. And we put our 2110. So we're not finished continue on as you can see I've kind of magic of TV I've made this work we have to finish this and so we have our office center we have to post you now our office center accounts payable subsidiary ledger same process as before October 9 it's the post reference G10 um, the uh, Accounts payable is a credit of $96. And since it's a credit of $96 and we do not have a balance in there yet, we have a balance of 96. Zero plus a credit will give us a credit balance. Last step is we have to take that 240 and we have to post it over there. That is how you post items found in a general journal. This will remain the same whether you're using accounts payable, accounts receivable, any other types of posting that you'll find within a general journal. I just used accounts payable and supplies office, but it will work the same for purchase returns and allowances. It'll work the same for uh, accounts receivable. It will work the same for anything that you do use any account titles you have in your general journal. Hope this helps. If you do like it, and if you really liked it, please subscribe, and we'll see you in class.